What's up everybody, I am Jesse, or Game Over Jesse as you may know me, and today I have a question for you. Should PlayStation and Nintendo and Xbox and the wonderful world of PC gaming just get along? And by that I mean, should their online functionality be connected? For example, we've seen games like Street Fighter V and Rocket League recently that came out on PC, also came out on PlayStation 4 as a console exclusive, but they do something that's different than most games. They communicate with each other. If you're on PlayStation 4 playing Rocket League, you're not stuck playing Rocket League with other people on PlayStation 4. Now suddenly you can play with people playing on, your, on their PC. And now, Xbox. Rocket League has opened the door. Now, the developers of Rocket League said that they wanted their Xbox version of Rocket League to communicate with PC and PlayStation, just like it can on the other consoles. But it was against Microsoft's Xbox's agreement terms whatnot, and they were in discussion with them to try and make that happen, and now it has. So has that opened the door for future games? to do this cross communication between platforms because I think this would be best for everybody now you have your forty or fifty dollar subscription fee for Xbox Live or PlayStation Network for the year some people do it month to month it's a little bit more expensive and you can play online with other people on the PlayStation Network or Xbox Live which makes sense but they don't want it to connect with other consoles because they want everyone playing on this one console. They want everyone playing on Xbox, everybody playing on PlayStation. If the new Call of Duty comes out, they want you on their console. If you have a friend playing Xbox and you're playing PlayStation, they don't want that to happen. They want you to convince your friend to switch to PlayStation so he can play with you. That way they can sell more consoles. But, now that all makes sense business-wise, but I have a plan. A plan to make this better for not only the gamers, but the developers, everybody involved. Now, you take your normal 40 or $50 subscription fee that only lets you play PlayStation games with other PlayStation games or Xbox games with other Xbox games, and you add 10 or $20 to it. Now, instead of paying 40 or $50, you are paying 60 or maybe even 70 if you want it. And if they do this, what you get with your extra subscription is everything that you got before, but now suddenly, if you're on Xbox, it'll communicate with people playing on PlayStation or PC. This isn't just Rocket League or Street Fighter, this is Call of Duty, all of their games. Every game. The Division, Destiny, any game that comes out suddenly is cross-compatible with all these different consoles. Again, it's not taking away anything from anyone that already has the service but if you have the service pay an extra ten dollars or twenty dollars and upgrade to the cross-platform service they're making more money so they don't have to really make you convince your friend to buy the console that you have just so you can play a game on it instead what this offers is suddenly if you're playing Call of Duty on PlayStation, but your friend likes the idea of playing Call of Duty with you, but doesn't really want to buy it for himself because all of his friends on Xbox play The Division or Destiny, he's not going to pay $400 or $500 if you include the game in the subscription fee just so he can play that game for you. He'll just pass. But suddenly, if he pays the price for the game and the extra ten dollars for the subscription he can now play that game with you so now he's convinced to buy a game that he otherwise wouldn't have bought just so he can play it with his one friend that also plays that game on PlayStation so not only does this help Xbox or PlayStation directly with the extra subscription fee but now suddenly there's games being bought by people that otherwise wouldn't have bought them because they're not willing to pay the extra four hundred dollars for a new console just to play that one game with their friend and now the gamers themselves are happy and they're buying more games so they can play with people that they otherwise wouldn't have been able to 
So it's just like perfect harmony between everybody. It'll help people playing The Division or Destiny or whatever play with their friends they otherwise wouldn't be able to, but they're playing the same games. You have a level 30, level 40, whatever character in Destiny, your friend has one same level, same stuff in Destiny on a different platform, but you two can't play with each other? You bought the same game, but it's running on different systems, so you can't play with each other. With this subscription service, you're able to play with each other. It's bringing friends closer, they're playing games longer because they're playing with more people that they're actually friends with outside of the world of Xbox Live or PlayStation Network. And now, not only that, but it brings the possibility to more games that have a stronger online connection. So, I want to hear you guys' thoughts on this. Should the video game companies and developers and publishers, should they do this? Is this something that you would want? Would you pay the extra $10, $20 to play cross-platform? No matter what system you're on, you can play with people on other consoles? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this, click over here. And if you want to see some of my older, newer Zelda theories, click over here. And if you want to help support this channel, then click up here. Thank you for watching, and again, let me know your thoughts in the comments below.